Hi everyone, welcome to home coffee plan number 15. Uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to cup this coffee. This is how in the industry we want to taste a coffee, whether it's a sample of a new coffee, or whether it's to assess a roast for quality control. So we often cup coffees blind when we're trying to choose a coffee, so we don't know what they are. So we're not biased by what we think the coffee's going to be. So I'm not going to tell you what this coffee is initially. Um, I'm just going to go through the tasting process and then we'll see what the coffee is at the end. So the things you need is cupping bowls. You can use any cup or glass as long as they're all the same size. Uh, these hold about 200 milliliters of water. You also need spoons. Um, we use a proper coffee cupping spoon but you can use a soup spoon, anything that's deep enough to get a good amount of coffee in. And we have some bowls just to rinse the spoons in. I'll show you this later. Um, hot water. And if you want to write notes about the flavors and things, you need a pen and a cupping sheet. You can find some of these online. This one is from the SCA. I've weighed out 12 grams of whole bean coffee. And you've got to keep these all the same, so I've weighed these out accurately. And then we're going to grind them just before tasting. So we're going to grind these in a medium fine grind, uh, a little bit coarser than filter. So the first thing we're going to do is to evaluate the dry fragrance. So I'm getting a good consistency between the three cups. And I get a really nice sweet fruity notes. There's like a ripe melon. There's some orange and chocolate. And maybe some grape. Okay, now I'm going to put some hot water on. I'm going to start the timer for four minutes. You want to fill the cups right to the top. A lot of the grounds will rise to the top. And we're going to leave those for four minutes and then we're going to break the crust and evaluate the wet aromas. So the coffee's been brewing for four minutes now. It's time to break the crust. So using the back of the spoon, I push the grounds aside while inhaling. And stir three times and then rinse the spoon and now to the next cup. So I'm getting some of the same flavors, the aromas that I got from the dry fragrance, but maybe a little bit more sweeter, a bit more grape, chocolate. Now using two spoons, I'm going to scrape the remaining crust off. The majority of the grounds have sunk to the bottom. So for a combined score of fragrance and aroma, I'm giving this 8.5 out of 10. So the cupping sheet that I'm using from the SEA has 10 categories. In each category you score out of 10, which could give you a maximum score of 100. High quality coffees are generally over 80 points. So now we have to leave these until they're cold enough for me to drink. Now that the coffees have cooled, I can begin to taste. So the first thing I'm going to taste for is the flavors. I 
rinsing the spoon between each. So what we're trying to do is trying to inhale a little bit of air as I'm slurping the coffee. This gets it right into the back of your mouth, coats the tongue, and also retronasal, so you get the good aromas as well. So from this coffee, I get a nice pineapple. An orange. Some chocolate. We've got that boozy alcoholic note as well from the fermentation. So those are really nice flavors. I'm going to score that 8.25. Now the aftertaste. So this is what is left in your mouth once you've swallowed. Those lingering flavors that are left on your tongue and in your palate. So that pineapple and orange become more of like a grapefruit. And it's a nice long finish, it stays with you. So I'm gonna give that 8.25 as well. Next, I'm gonna assess the acidity. So this is how bright the coffee is. So that's like a medium high acidity. It's nice and clean and it's sweet. I think 8.25 for that as well. Okay, next I'm gonna assess the body. So this is how the coffee feels in your mouth. So you can assess how heavy it is, if it's like, like tea-like or if it's more syrupy. And also how, the quality, like how nice it feels in your mouth. So the body's quite heavy on this. Maybe a little bit rough, it could be a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna give this an eight for body. Okay, the next three categories are just to assess consistency. And as I've been cupping these, I can't see any difference between them. They're nice and um, equal. So I'm gonna give them top scores of 10 for those. And the last two categories is balance. So that's how all the elements of the the acidity, the body, the flavor, how they come together in the cup. Um, I think the coffee is pretty balanced. It's not really lacking anywhere. So I've given it 8.25. And the last category is your own personal like, preference for the coffee, like your own overall impression. So I'm gonna give this 8.5. I think it's a really great coffee. So when we add all those up, we get to 88 points out of 100, which makes it one of the top coffees that we have. Um, so now I'll reveal what coffee this is. So it, it's from Colombia and it's a coffee called Tres Dragones, which means three dragons. And this is from Potosi Farm. We've had other coffees from Potosi before. Um, this particular batch is a natural coffee. So the whole cherries are then fermented for 36 hours and then they're put into mechanical dryers so this is to speed up the drying process of the cherries. And then often they have flames underneath. And this particular one, the flames lick out and apparently they look like three dragons. So that's how the coffee gets its name. Well, I've really enjoyed tasting this coffee. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'll see you again next time.